Let's in fact get you some details of what is happening at this moment in the Gaza Strip. It is more than 72 hours, more than three days since the tiny Gaza Strip has been placed under a siege. All outside contact has been cut off. There is zero inflow of food, water, fuel and electricity. The Israeli authorities have completely cut off these basic essential supplies of life for a population of about 2.3 million people. At this moment as we speak, it's just past 6 p.m. in Gaza. And within minutes, the Gaza Strip will plunge into complete darkness. Now, we spoke to a prominent Palestinian human rights activist, Omar Barfouti, who explained as to what the people of Palestine want and why an end of Israeli occupation is going to be a key for peace in the region. For his safety, we've not disclosed his location. Listen it. Violence is only a byproduct of oppression. As someone who's working in the BDS movement, like myself, a peaceful movement that calls for ending occupation, ending apartheid, the right of Palestinian refugees to return, I wish, I desire to see an end to all violence, whether by the oppressor or by the oppressed. But in order to do that, we've got to see an end to oppression because violence is a product of oppression. Now, you mentioned the situation in, in Gaza. There is no interest for anyone to keep 2.3 million imprisoned in this open air prison with cutting off supplies, food, water, electricity, medicine, and so on, except someone who wants to see people dying, a slow death or a faster death. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.